So today we're looking at the show you native 1080p projector and I'm definitely gonna show you what's up we're basically looking at a home theater in a box and it is a pretty massive box this is a big boy projector if I've ever seen one before it's HD max smart screenless even though you need a projector screen and TV start the smart home theater experience your happy life yeah, because everyone's happy with a massive up to 300 inch display that this thing can project onto your screen or your wall, whatever you decide to use. But I do recommend using a projector screen for the best video quality. Like I was saying, it supports full HD 1080p resolution. The lamp is rated at 50,000 hours of use, has a hi-fi speaker with dynamic sound, and they do say it has 360 degree stereo sound. So I'm actually pretty excited to see if it actually sounds good. And then we have a 120 inch super big screen, 200 inch distance so many numbers mismatching they said 300 here it says 200 and 120 eh. but what I do know is the recommended throw distance is six and a half feet from the projector to the wall you know what I just noticed on the side of the box over here it says they specialized in projectors for 18 years so if that is true this might be an amazing projector I mean I'm ready to be shocked the box is looking pretty good. This is like one of the first times I've seen a black box for a projector and I'm here for it. And I want to get inside this thing and see what we're working with. And they really got this sealed up in a weird way. Inside the box I have a user manual, a remote control, some composite AV cables, a VGA cable, yeah! An HDMI cable, and a power cable. Ooh, some cool foam all it fell off but we have the actual projector here nothing else inside the box Get that foam out of here and I'm ready to be amazed 18 years let's see what they got now okay I'm actually really liking the look of this thing I mean this looks different than other projectors on the market it looks a little bit more rugged and just makes me feel like I'm about to go into battle or something with that being said we gotta show you show you tomorrow they're gonna show you tomorrow today over here on the right side we have the keystone and knob very nice to move feels good doesn't really go too far although it should be enough to get the job done over on the front around the lens is the actual focus knob so you can get a nice clear picture over here near the back we have the actual remote control buttons we have up down left right okay nice and clicky we have a home button a back button a source button as well as a power button make each day account spelled wrong and enjoy your life so in 18 years they haven't figured out how to correct their spelling <laughs> Oh, check this out. Novel aircraft carriers in the projector industry. Wait, what? Do they make aircraft carriers? I'm not sure what's going on, but maybe it's just because it's built like an aircraft carrier. Yeah. Over here on the back, we do not have a LAN port, but we do have a VGA port for some reason, two USB-A ports, an HDMI port, 3.5 millimeter headphone and speaker port, an AV composite port, as well as an infrared receiver and a micro SD card slot. Down right underneath, we have the power port, so you can draw a lot of power to this thing. Now, I am noticing right here on the back, there's a little bit of a fit and finish issue because this is just popping out, so that's kind of disappointing. Although, down here on the bottom, we do have four rubberized feet. Not really two rubber, it's more like foam, and they are grippy not really they slide around but it's better than nothing but then over here on the bottom also we actually have a little kickstand and you push this button right here on the front and pull it out that way you can prop up the projector at an angle in case it's too low to reach your screen pretty cool over here on the front we have this nice and big native 1080p lens along with an infrared receiver in the middle and LED projector on the right although one thing that's kind of concerning to me is this giant lens didn't come with any sort of lens cap in the box so it can get smudged up and dirty if you get dust and everything on it so you're gonna have to try really hard to keep this thing clean over on the sides, not much to see, but some air intakes as well as some speaker grills. And overall, the design of this projector is very nice. It looks heavy duty, even though, I mean, it's made out of plastic. There's some fit and finish issues and it's not really as heavy duty as it looks, but it gives you that feel that it's really heavy duty. So now with all that being said, I'm gonna get this beefy monster set up and see how well it actually works in the real world, fingers crossed. It's as heavy duty when it comes to picture quality as it is looking at it. Not actually looking at it though, but just glancing at it. I call it Daffy Ducks equally 
sized bread pieces. All right, y'all, I am back with the show you. 18 years in the making projector and I got news. Unfortunately, it's all ugly. So, with that being said, first thing, right out of the box, the HDMI cable was completely dead on arrival. Wasn't able to get any picture, any sound, nothing. So, swapped it with an HDMI cable that I had, was able to get a picture, able to get some audio, and now we have that ugly news that I was telling you about. So, first things first, this, what I'm about to say, I'm gonna just let you know right now, don't buy this projector because it is a full-on disappointment and I don't know why. So native 1080p, although for whatever reason, I couldn't get 1080p resolution no matter how hard I tried. The default resolution that this thing pulled was 1280 by 768, which if you're doing the math, that's really close to 720p. And this is supposed to be 1080p, 1920 by 1080. So we're far off. So then I was able to force the resolution, but the highest I was able to force it to was 1440 by 800. Once again, basically 720p, nowhere near 1080p. I don't know why, but I was like, okay, looks like we got a 800p projector here. I know they do make an 800p model, but this specifically says FHD right here on the projector. So I don't know what happened. Maybe the components got mixed up. Maybe, I guess, but that doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. And then forgetting about the resolution, the picture quality, the colors are just not accurate whatsoever. I mean, there's a lot of green and yellow hues. The colors are pretty washed out. It, like the overall quality of the picture is just bad. Now they said they were in projector business for 18 years. I don't know how they missed the mark so bad. I mean, the projector looks cool. This little logo up here lights up, which is cool, but can't even get 1080p pictures. So with that being said, there's nothing else for me to say here. I mean, you could game if you want, but it's basically 720p and that's not good. Now, the good news is at 720p, it looked, you know, it looked good. You could actually read the text so you could game on it and everything. But if you want a 1080p projector, and you get 720p, <laughs> what? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense to me. So if you guys got this projector, maybe this one happens to be defective or maybe this is just how it is, I don't know. But I don't like it. Now, as far as the fan noise goes, it's actually on the louder side at about 55 decibels. And the speaker quality, it's not super loud, but it does sound better than the worst projectors I've had. It's not super tinny. It's somewhere in the middle, not the best, but it's, it's okay, just not very loud. We'll do one last drop, and then we disappear forever. The HDMI cable didn't work. The picture quality sucks. And that's when we're talking about both resolution and color accuracy. I'm just saying, this projector completely missed the mark and I'm just really upset about it. 